Hello and welcome to FTB Skies, a new mod pack released by the Feed the Beast team for Minecraft. And it's a skyblock type um, mod pack, so we'll be starting up in the sky and we have a few different options. But um, let's take a look where we start here. We logged in and I used a, a random seed, one, two, three, four, not random, but <laughs> there we go. We'll put the screen back on. Let's take a look. We start on this really interesting massive airship this is where we logged in I, mean, I put i peeked down there and i really couldn't open any of these things but i don't want to get ahead of and try to take some stuff i'm not supposed to and right in here is this is where the journey begins and let's take a look so we have a few uh, right away you're uh, faced with a few options you can start with um a typical sky block like this um, this is Chosen Architect's actual starting island that he designed, I think. And maybe a compact machine that's a little tougher inside there. And then a, an island that was designed by the FTB team. I think we're going to choose this one. Now, I've played through just the early part of the thing just to get an idea of what it's like. And the, the upside here is you have some more space to work with. That's nice. But the downside, if you pick this, is you're going to be faced with uh, monsters right away. But we have a solution for that. And today we're really going to focus on getting to the point where we're not going to be sifting by hand and using a crank to to um, sift, to auto sift. So we're going to get to that really quick. So let's give that a shot. We're going to pick this one right here. So let's create it. Quest completed. Here we are. Pretty neat. We've got a campfire already lit. So um, there's some right over here. There's some flax. That's going to be important. This rice is going to be very important. And oddly enough, books are um, kind of kind of up there in importance to get to uh, unlock pedestals and things like that. But we're going to focus on the uh, auto sifting. You can do the. You can't. Uh, can't dance and get the trees to grow, but there's a way around that as well. We get a lot of bone meal, and I'll show you how to do that as well. But we're going to focus on making sure we're not attacked by monsters, because uh, night is coming soon, and we're going to want that not to happen. So our solution to the uh, monster spawning problem is if I press F7, it's going to put that little grid down. You can barely see it the blue stuff and we're going to try to get rid of those by uh, punching the ground and we're going to grow these trees as well so let's go like that we'll even use some of this Ooh, nice one we're going to do the normal stuff where we bane mine with the grave key i just hold that key which is in the top left down if you guys have any questions about any of this please leave a, a comment down below and i will get to it and be able to answer your question. We're just using some uh, bone meal on the trees themselves. This pack's going to give you all kinds of stuff. Your inventory is going to fill up quite fast. Um, and I'll explain that as we go as well. <laughs> gonna yeah, Keeping things organized is going to be a challenge. You don't keep on top of it. Let's take this down here. That up there, that up there. And we're going to punch the ground by holding shift empty hand see my hands empty there we're going to right click on there what we're going to shoot for is some furnaces we're going to be making charcoal and and we're going to race the sun which is where's the sun right there we're going to race that and try to get to the point where we have enough just gonna let it hold down the the shift key and hold down the right click and it just spits this out of the ground also the K key if you have it and press it you can do this so you don't have to um, put these up here one by one and make a block like that you could do it this way I have it under shift a and it just consolidates the whole stack just like that now I have 27 of these that's plenty we're gonna make a simple Oh, one, two, three, four. We'll use four of those. Take that. That. Put this back in here so we get the better crafting. 
We're gonna pop that down right here. And whoa, easy. <laughs> That's one. We'll probably make one more. Uh, two more. And we're gonna drop these down right now. We're just we're not gonna care exactly where we put things. And let's do this. Let's do one and that. Let's go grow another tree real quick. Use the grave key, that tilde key in the top left. And grow another tree. Same thing. We're going to shoot four. We're racing the sun. We're at noon already. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see how many of these. We've got one of these. We'll put that there. And it's ideally you want to have at least maybe like four of these because the worst thing is to come over here and be waiting on, uh, waiting on this stuff to work. It's no fun. There we go. And we're just going to try to get ahead of the the game here with this, as far as using charcoal as soon as possible versus this kind of stuff. Let's go over here. We'll do that, and I'll see you in a second. So we're in good shape. I've done quite a bit. Um, I made a bunch of torches. I made extra extras of these, and this one's just cooking extra charcoal for the other furnaces that I'll be using. Nice. Let's see how many we have in there. Not bad. We'll build that up over time. Been planting trees over there. Uh, I made every tool that you need um, because there, it really is important. You'll see why. Make a each like an each of a stone tool. I moved the rice from over there, the flax all over here, and as you can see, down below is actual dirt, not sand, and it's waterlogged, so it's just you know dirt uh, underwater. And if you right click when it's fully mature, you'll get one of those out of it, and it will continue to grow. Beautiful. The other thing is, if you want to um, easily compress, this is what I went and I put. Sorry. I had to get rid of those blue squares by putting a little torch down. If you want to easily compress the items, so you're going like this. I'll show you the actual control key. Uh, you gotta have an empty hand. There we go. Just right click, right click, hold that shift down. I'll gather these up. And we're gonna go into our controls. Options. Controls. Keybinds. We're gonna go under category. Craft. Right here where it says uh, compress all, I just changed it to shift A. You can change it to whatever key you want. I change it to uh, not that one. Shift A, done, done. And then I just hover over this and press shift A and it turns it into, um, just like this, turns it into that for me. I also keep these up here. Notice my uh, food, um, it says not eaten yet. So what I want to do is I want to go through and eat at least one of each of these because what's going to happen is as you eat a variety of food and every food that you can come across, you're, you're going to gain more uh, hearts, not just hearts back, but you're going to have, instead of just having 10 hearts, it'll go up to 12, 14, 16, 20, 30. I don't know what the max is, but uh, let's eat this poisonous food. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy gonna hurt us but that's okay and I'm gonna put these back up here and I won't have see how it says eaten already that'll go away in eight seconds and we'll put this one down here and that one and I just stack these things up just like that no problem let's uh eat one of these and see what happens nice and then I move that back up there and that down there so all those I have to eat yet we'll do that next and notice I haven't been going into the quest yet. Quests are sitting here, ready to go. Oops. <laughs> I've pinned this. Stays open. I haven't been doing these quests yet. So let's take the, the next step. I'll eat this one. There. And I gained two hearts. I'll be right back. And it should go up higher than that. Let's see. See if it goes in heals us up. There it goes. Now see how it has a little bit of a yellow. It'll go up to 12 hearts now. And we'll put that one up there and move those over. And I'll be right back. 
Okay, so let's tackle some quests. We're going to eat this food quickly first. Let's get that one up. Now that's been eaten, and that's been eaten. So we can get those off our hot bar and put these back up here. We've organized ourselves with the chests. Got a bunch of food products there. I don't want to put these in here yet because I'm still doing a lot of harvesting and you get so much of these on the drops. So let's take a look. We can put the, that in there. We'll open up it. And you're going to have this quest first. You go ahead, go ahead and take the Akashic Tomb. And what that does is, let's put it right here. We're going to right click on it and it can turn into any of these books. So let's uh, choose that one. And then you can right click again and now you've got access to the book with all the, uh, for that mod. Let's say you want to change it back. Just left click in the air and it'll change it right back. And you're going to want to make um, at least four storage chests uh, to begin with. And we're going to put our books in here and our weird uh, our tools and stuff like that. And I went ahead and made a bunch of tools as well. So you, it's important to do this. It really is because you're going to need a lot of this stuff. So let's take a look. Let's go back to our quests. And the very first one, string. So let's, uh, we're going to open that up and we're going to be able to make that. We're going to come right over here to one of our flowers. It's been growing. I left click on it. I replant it. I got two seeds, so I'm going to spread that out. And I've got this flax. Flax, I pop in there. I've got string. And the quest has now recognized that. And I just click on here. We get some more bone meal, more flax seed, and straw. All very important. The quest, this whole quest line does a really good job of working your way through things, too. So let's go ahead and plant that. Two, three, four. We're going to take these out. And we'll plant that again. Just like that. And we'll even go like this. Perfect. We'll plant those two there. No big deal. Let's take a look at the quest again. Logging the trees. Grow the saplings, okay, with our... Sifter, you can get a flint mesh or flint shears, but those are a little hard to get at first. Sifter, saplings. We've grown a lot of saplings, and now we have some oak leaves. It gives us that, and another new food. So we're going to put that on our our list of things to uh, eat. So I put it over here, and we'll put that up there for now. The flax will come on here, and we're going to take this flax. I'm sorry, the string, and we're going to make three wool and then we'll have three wood and we're going to make a bed and everybody knows how to make a bed just a regular minecraft bed right click three wool three any kind of just wood planks and you're going to have a bed as soon as possible not to get rid of the uh, monsters but if it starts ra uh, raining you're going to want to get uh, take a sleep to uh, get rid of the rain and we'll be right back nice we got an apple Okay, let's follow along in the quest. Let's see. Down here on the bottom left, we're going to take a look at this one. And this is just punching the, the dirt, just like we did. And you get all these rewards, which is kind of nice. Get 16 dirt, all that kind of stuff. And we're in good shape. Let's take a look at this one. Wants us to make a stone hammer. So let's do that. We've got our cobblestone. We're going to rock right up here. We're going to look up the hammer. The hammer is going to be made from stone stone rods instead of sticks. Let's find out how we make the stone rods. Pretty easy. We won't make that many, but we'll make quite a few. We'll make ten. And now we'll make a bunch of stone rods or stone hammers. And I'm just going to put the extra ones right up there, just in case, you know, just to have them ready. And we've put the stone rods right up there as well. The excess ones to keep them out of our inventory, to keep everything tight. And let's take a look at the quest now. And what did it give us? Oh, it gave us 64 cobble. I'll take that. that that's a lot. <laughs> there we go. Looks good. Hey, let's go up to this one. Let's figure out how to make this together. Okay, so it wants us to make this string mesh. That's pretty easy. We know how to make the flax. Let's go over to our thing right here, and we'll say string mesh. Oh, we need a piece of string. 
Do we have that? Would have been her. Yeah, one piece of string. And away we go. Recipe. Click. Done. And also, so we got the credit for that. Let's finish that one out. I get distracted. Uh, it gives us a hopper and some new foods, too. So we'll put that on our list of foods to eat. I just kind of keep those right up there. And I'm going to try to eat these quicker than, than I'm not currently doing it. Um, we got a pet rock. Let's <laughs> might as well plop him down. And he's got a what? <laughs> Doesn't look happy. I don't know how to. Can we feed him? To, is he gonna jump off the edge? I hope not. All right, buddy, have fun. And let's go to the next quest. A sifter. Okay, this is uh, important stuff. We're gonna make the sifter. It's a hand crank. A button. Okay. And a sifter like this. And what's the recipe for that? Okay, so we're going to make sure we have some uh, cobblestone cooking. We'll take that out, and we'll make two buttons, it looks like. And we'll pop those down. So let's see if we can make the products. We needed a hand crank, a, a wooden wheel, or a, a wooden gear. We'll take that. Uh, we can just pop that right in there. Easy. And that right there. Beautiful. Let's see what we get for that quest. And it's checked off. Did I do it correctly? I mean, I have the sifter. Hmm. Do I have to, like, make it do it? Let's see. Check, check. Sifting. We're in good shape there and there. We're in good shape here and here. Sifting go burr. Hand crank. Do I have to put it together or something? Hmm, make sure the cog wheel that is part of the sifter aligns with the cog wheel in your hand crank. Oh, cog. Do I? That's the reward. Do I have to make a cog wheel? How do I make andesite? We'll figure it out. I'll be right back. Okay, that was an easy fix or to figure it out. If you just click right there and then hover over this. It'll view dependencies, so it wants us to do log, dust to dust, and string mesh. And it's looks like it's 66%, so it's this dust to dust. The log is done, the string mesh is done, but that one's not done. So that will unlock that. So let's find out how do we do this. We just need to make dust. So let's do it. We'll just do that. Pick those things up. Combine them just like we learned how. And we're going to put those down. And what I like to do is we're going to make a couple of these. One, two. We'll do, we'll do two of these. Just like this. No, not that way. Sorry. <laughs> just like that. One, two. There we go. So that way I can start building it like this. And it's a little bit easier to build. And we'll go like, now we'll take our hammer and do the excavate, the big one. And we've made a couple of hammers because, you know, it's quite a bit to do here. We'll plop this gravel down. Kind of sloppily, it looks like. And we'll use our wand. And now get a sand. Now we've got a new hammer because we had two hammers on us. And then we'll plop down some sand. And always, you know what? That was, it's always a good idea just to throw some sand in there for glass. And let's do this. We put that over it. Oh, it didn't fall in. That's nice. And now we have dust, right? There, quest. Ooh, there we go. And, and it completed that because of that. So we get this, this, and that, and now we get all of these. Oh boy. We get four more sifters, so we're going to have to make uh, some more, um, ooh, we got new food. 
we got quite a bit. Sometimes it's so much that you're going to have to come right over and put it this away. So these are all the things I haven't ate yet. This is the stuff I have ate. Got a couple extra trees here. We're in good shape there. And let's see what happens here. Let's take a look at our quest. Let's go ahead and make this thing. Let's do that as well. It's right here. Oh, let's go like that. Do half of half of those. Just like that. And one of these. Just to get the credit for the quest. What did it give us? It's worth it because it gave us two regular Minecraft hoppers, which are really a lot nicer than the regular ones. A barrel, a barrel, and some more bone meal. I'll take it. Looks good. Let's put those barrels to use right away. We don't know what they're going to be used for yet, but we're going to put them down. We'll put one right here. And what, can I put the other one right on top of it? That's a weird barrel. That's a barrel. And we're going to put our food, our stuff away here just to clean ourselves, clean everything up a little bit here. We'll put this down right in front. And I wonder what we can put in there. We put some trees. Got a lot of sap. Not that way. Right click and put some trees in there. And you could automate that and it turned into what? Oh, bone meal. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Okay, now let's uh, figure out how to use the create sifter. It's a little tricky at first, but it's not too bad. What I do is I dig a little bit of a, a hole like this just to lower everything down. And then I'm going to put a chest there and then I'm going to hold shift uh, and then right click to keep them separated. You can either connect them or separate them. I like them separated and you'll see why later. Then we're going to come around to the back side. We're going to put one down to the, these uh, hoppers. And we're going to hold shift and right click on the back of the chest because then you can kind of see. Let's see if we can dig down a little bit. See how it's connected right? Right there. Perfect. Let's cover that horrible hole up. <laughs> so, we're in good shape there. And now we'll put it back like this. Now we're going to simply go like this. We're going to hold down Shift and right click again. And Shift and right click again. Then we're going to put our meshes in there by right clicking on the top. String meshes. We built those easily. We'll put that up there. That up there. We're going to put this cog. We're going to right click right next to it. See like that? And it kind of like shape. See how it puts an arrow there? If we look right, see where my, just like that. Perfect. Then we have a crank. We're going to put the crank right on the top. Perfect. And now it kind of goes, shifts around. You're like, hmm, well, what can that do? I can't access these. It doesn't, doesn't really make sense. But then uh, you come around to the back. We're going to do our trick again. We're going to hold shift and right click with the uh, just like that and we're going to put we're going to put fancy ones on this they're harder to make but we got two from the quest but uh once you get enough iron you're really going to want to swap to the regular hoppers we're going to hold shift just like that because the other ones get jammed up so if you ever have a situation where everything's jammed up it's not doesn't seem to be working just go ahead and break these break that and then reset up the system but you're going to want to swap over to these and pipes as soon as possible. So now we've got it that way. So it could work right at this point, but let's put some um, let's put some chests on here. We're going to hold shift and right click there, shift and right click there. Now we've got one for, let's say, sand, one for gravel. And what does it want us to do in the quest? It wants us to sift sand. You can always right click or I put put the recipe and it says here's the string mesh will give us sand okay so let's go uh, make some of this real quick and we'll use our hammer there's the hammer and if we put this right here we'll put all of it up there and we'll even put the gravel right next to it so now it's gravel on one side, that on the other, and 
just right click on the crank and sure enough it's a really cool animation too there's good doing its thing and everything should just grind down grind down and let's find out what we got it's almost done already but we don't there's a way to get around this and I'm going to show you in the next episode most likely that uh, we'll show you the easy way around this very very simple way to automate this whole thing nothing on there you can actually check these and that way let's say you put um, a chest in there it's not going to try to put the chest in the thing or a, a rock or something see it won't put it in there and that way you can come back and check and see what's blocked up now the sifting of with string got us iron that that completed a quest and this got this let's see is it gonna oh quest is complete oh uh, can we just plant this i wonder i think it's like can, i don't think we can plant it right here no it has to be something like on a tree or something so we'll put that in our to be worked on food wise let's take a look at the quest it gave us more bone meal it gave us some paper a sponge and an egg keep ourselves organized we'll put this that in right there just to remind us that we might want to use it and we're looking over the rest of the things paper will stick in there and we're gonna go plant this and we'll even move this bed because we're gonna plant this right along here and apotheosis is in the mod pack so it's gonna grow really tall We'll move our bed right over to, oh, let's say right here, just for now. We're in good shape. Let's oh, let's put that sponge thing away just to keep ourselves organized. We'll put the chest, wood things in there, wood in there. Don't need these yet. Oh, we'll put these away for now. Keep ourselves organized good there we go let's take a look at the quest nice not this again fishing net we'll work on this next I'll show you the tricks on that be right back okay we're in good shape um let's take a look at the uh, quests right over here this um, progression I did this one we got credit for it it gave us this force pack and under um, your control key binds. I set the, um, I looked it up under force pack, under force craft, and I just made it X. So what you can do is you press X then, and I just put um, all my tools in there. And that way I can just press X, pull my tool, put it out, put it back in, and have access to it that way. And it just gives you some extra slots and you can expand this thing. Um, what else did we do? We cleared out the trees, we're in good shape there. Next up on our progression, we're going to be looking uh, over here, and we got that one. We've got the andesite. Nice, because we graveled down the gravel or the iron ore. Some food, nice. And this andesite. Now, be very careful with the 16 that it gives you, because um, we're going to show you in the next episode what to do with that. And we'll be getting into pedestals. Pedestals are going to allow us to... Um, do quite a bit. Um, it'll generate our cobblestone. It'll generate dust. That's uh, an interesting way to do that. Um, all the, the gravel, the sand, the dust, the cobblestone, everything you need will be generated with pedestals. We're going to have the water wheels right here. Very, very simple setup to um, do a really powerful one with just one water wheel. And that's going to automate this whole issue and we'll have it all set up really really nice and easy and we'll go from there so questing wise we're in good shape there we go we're going to be making all this we're going to be making liquid fire uh, liquid fire all this is very easy to do and i'll show you how to do it with that i hope this helps um if you like this stuff go ahead and subscribe we're closing in on a thousand and a thousand subs and this looks like a fun pack so far um, we're just, you know, we're just basically getting into the very, very food, the, the early parts of it. Looks like I've already got this. We'll clean these up and we'll work through it. And they're updating it all the time. It just came out.
It's pretty fun so far. Um, interesting stuff. Very, very interesting. We'll see how far we can get into this pack. Have a good one. Those frogs jump awfully tall. <laughs> awfully high. We're in good shape. We've got our sugar cane. We've got this. We've got to expand that. So I'll do a little of that off screen. See you soon. And I've got fish too. And a quick side note. I think, I mean, this will still grow over here. But I think it'll grow a lot, yeah, a lot faster <laughs> if it's on sand. It might not even grow on grass. But I replanted this real quick uh, on sand. And that already grew, so... I mean, you can make it grow like this, which is a little weird, but... Well, wow. <laughs> but I think on sand, we're in better shape here. So let's put that on. Sand and... There we go. Because we're going to need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of this. We can put that one back there and let that grow. And away we go. I just wanted to fix that real quick. 